Breaking news, um, Matt Keane might lose his seat. You know that guy in the Liberal Party that everyone hates? It turns out he is facing a 16% swing against him. There is a combined freedom vote of over 22% in the electorate of Hornsby. If this voting actually ends up happening in the upper house, the minor parties between One Nation, Liberal Democrats, and the Informed Medical Options Party will control the balance of power. Check, check this segment out. Matt Keane is in trouble. The New South Wales Treasurer and Energy Minister Matt Keane is facing a 16% primary vote swing against him in his own safe seat of Hornsby at the weekend, with most of the vote going to right-wing parties, One Nation, and the Liberal Democrats. Mr Keane, who's become a polarising figure with the Liberal base over his pro-climate policies, will have to rely on One Nation preferences to win the seat, with his primary vote having slumped from 53% to 37 according to the poll conducted by an industry group. The poll shows Mr Keane receiving 37% of the primary vote, down 16 from 2019. Labor gets 21, up 2. One Nation receives 15% and Hornsby up 10. 15. And the Liberal Democrats and Greens, 6%. Sorry, the Greens vote is 12. So the Greens vote is halved from the last election from 12, while the Liberal Democrats are a new party. On the issue of Mr Keane's performance as Energy Minister, it's bad news for Matt Keane in Hornsby. The poll of his own electorate found 17% believe Mr Keane had performed well, 27% said the minister had been average, and 54% poor, including 27% who thought very poor, more than one in four. On the question of whether Matt Keane would make a good premier, 39% agreed, 40% disagreed. 36% of Labor voters thought Matt Keane would make a good premier compared to 49 of the Liberals. The polling shows that Matt Keane would suffer an 8% two-party preferred swing against him in the seat. So he'd still win 58-42, but these are disturbing numbers for him. The poll result leaked to not Sky News comes after Sky has reported in recent weeks that polling shows that Mark Latham's One Nation is set to receive primary votes of more than 10% in several Western Sydney seats. The danger for the Perrottet government is that under the New South Wales optional preferential system, voters only need to put the number one in a box and not preference, and that is what Mr Latham has announced his party is doing in How to Vote Cards. Peter Dutton actually virtually spoke at Mr Keane's Hornsby campaign launch a week back, so he won't be happy with these numbers. Here was Mark Latham and Matt Keane belting each other up on the show with me in the last couple of weeks. We regard Matt Keane's Liberal Party as woke and left-wing and ineffective as the Labor Party and the Greens. I mean, you've got senior Liberal Party ministers like Keane and Hazard and Speakman and Stokes who might as well join the Green Party room. It's lurched way to the left because of the influence of Keane and, and of course, the mad rush to 100% renewables, the Keane plan. What else would you expect from Labor Latham? I mean, this man puts on a pantomime that he's a Conservative, but he's no Conservative. Uh, he ran against Australia's greatest ever Conservative Prime Minister, John Howard, and tried to stop him. Uh, he's now running against our Conservative Premier in Dom Perrottet. A vote for Latham is just the same as a vote for the Teals. It's a vote for Labor. <laughs> That's what you'll get if you vote for Mark Latham. If you're hearing that, we've got to get them both on the show at the same time, don't we? Elsewhere All right. Else? What does this actually mean? Well, what they're not telling you is that the combined freedom vote is actually 15% One Nation and like 6% Liberal Democrat Party. That doesn't even include the IMOC party as well. And then there's the independent vote of all the other parties that are running as well. We're talking about a combined right-wing freedom vote of over 22%. If that happens in every seat, even if it was 15% across every seat, that, like, that will translate into the upper house. That's insane. Like, ima imagine if the minor right-wing parties actually got the balance of power. There are 350 of you listening live right now. Give this a share. Get it out there. This is crazy news. Matt Keane? I would not want to be Matt Keane right now. I'd be freaking out. Now, if you're worried about a Labor win, the Turning Point Australia had a vote cards. We mostly back the Liberal Party over the Labor Party, but we always back freedom people ahead. People like Tanya Davies and Tim James, we've got them on top. 
But Matt Keane, we put the greens ahead of Matt Keane. Like, we want him out. We want him gone. He is the cancer that is destroying the Liberal Party. He has Dominic Perrottet by the nuts because he controls the numbers in the party. And Dom Perrottet can't do exactly what he wants because he's got Matt Keane in there. You, if you cut Matt Keane out, you're cutting the head of the snake off. He's like the Dan Andrews of, of New South Wales. This is phenomenal news. I mean, the idea... The idea that the polling is the way that it is, I know you guys can't see that, but it goes 37% Liberal Party, 21% Labor, 15% One Nation, 6% Greens. The Greens are probably have, you know, they got their vote halved. Half of it probably went to Matt Keane. <laughs> um, the, the Liberal Democrat Party on 6%, if they, if they do that in every seat, they might even get more than one spot. That's insane, but One Nation... For the win, Mark Latham looking like he could get possibly three or four spots in the upper house. Oh my God, <laughs> like this is crazy. Give this a share, guys. If you don't have the Turning Point Australia link, head to tpaust.com.au. The link's in the description. Share it to everyone. If you want to volunteer for a candidate as well, we've got a volunteer funnel. We've got a ton of resources, everything you need to win this election and to stick it to the establishment. God bless you guys. If all 400 of you listen, listening to this right now shared it, it would reach literally 20,000 people. I'm going to do another stream tonight. I'm streaming to um, Graham Hood's page as well as Turning Point and Joel Jamal. We're, doing, we're looking at a candidates forum happening in DYRSL. If you're around there, I'll see you there. But this, oh, it almost makes me want to watch it again. Matt Keane, you are seriously... New South Wales Treasurer. And Energy Minister Matt Keane <laughs> is facing a 16% primary vote swing against him in his own safe seat of Hornsby at the weekend. <laughs> with most of the vote going to... <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. God bless you. This is your win. This is your win. Bring it home. Volunteer at polling booths. Share the Turning Point How to Vote card. Share this video. Give it a like. Take it easy, everyone. This is great news.